It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time for another Perfect Draft review. Now we have our machine over here, the Philips Perfect Draft. We've not put a keg in this for quite some time to be honest, so I'm looking forward to this one. Today we have a Hertog Jam. Uh, it's a Dutch beer owned by AB InBev, so the the owners of Stella Artois. But the reason I picked this one up is I was told it's really, really good. So I've had it in the fridge 24 hours, pre chilled it, got it down to temperature, and it's four degrees at the moment. I'm going to show you how to fit the line, fit the keg, pour a beer, and we'll give it a bit of a review. So First thing we do, oh, here we go, grab all your tap, grab your line, you'll have a new line with every single keg, there's six litre kegs of beer, you'll have a new line with each keg, make sure you've got a new line, they, they come attached with this bit of plastic when you're picking your keg up. Grab your line, feed it down. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> I haven't done this for quite some time. I was sticking it down there. Um, feed it down here, like so. It'll get into that sort of position there where you can then click it into position. So your tap line now is fitted. This then sits on top of the keg, bit of force, push it down, and there we go, we're fitted, we've got the Hertog Jan, the tap is connected, I tend to give that a little bit of a wobble, the back line there, just to get it into position, and then you grab all your keg, slide it over, Blue handles down. Shut your doors. Your machine makes a bit of a noise, brings it up to pressure, and then what will happen very quickly, as you'll see, we're saying 13 degrees at the moment on this Philips Perfect Draft, but it'll drop very quickly. I can tip this up a bit now. I I lowered the the camera so we can get the show you how to fit the tap. It's very quickly down to 11 degrees so it's flying down. It's going to quickly go down to 4 degrees which is ideal drinking temperature. So on that note, on that very note, let's uh, grab ourselves a, a beer glass and show you how to pour a beer. Opening the back door, now reason being we're either going to throw some beer out the back door if we have a foamy, bit of a foamy start or we're going to drink it, we'll, we'll see how we get on now. Machine's already down to 9 degrees. I've missed this. I've missed this machine. I've not bought a keg in six weeks. For, for whatever reason, I just think I've been busy doing other things. <laughs> Forgotten about my perfect draft machine, but we're back. I think we're back now. We're going to be buying more kegs for this thing. I really like it. Two to three finger. Well, we're not really interested in this. What you want to do is you're pouring your beer through your line. Get some beer through your line first. You can either throw it or you can do this. So you're doing two things here, you're getting some beer in your line, so you're not having the beer to travel down a beer line and, and foam up, there's already beer through the line now, so you've got a much better chance of pouring a decent beer. And the second thing you've done is you wet your glass, which again helps for a perfect pour. 
on that perfect pour, no pressure then, let's pour one. So handle straight down rather quickly. 45 degree angle on the glass. And there we have it. If you were in a Belgian cafe bar, in this case with it being a Dutch beer, if you were in a Dutch bar, German bar, Czech bar, a European bar, then you would fully expect a head like this on your glass of beer. It's to protect the beer. It's to protect the liquid beneath the beer. Not that it's going to be in the glass too long because we're going to drink it quite quickly. We've got slow moving carbonation on this one, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you this. It looks like it probably could be a little bit more carbonated, a touch more carbonated. It's a bit, I mean, I'm in the way of probably not doing. It's a bit, yeah, it looks a bit flat. But it's created a lovely head on the beer. Perhaps it's just the beer style, perhaps it's just the beer that's in the glass, that it, you know, it's, it's, it's flat. The other thing as well, being, being 7 degrees, it's got down to 7 degrees. It's a nice temperature to drink this. So a golden amber coloured beer with a 2-3 to three finger white head, let's get the aroma. Smells like a good quality lager. A real kind of good quality 100% all malt lager. Citrusy and peppery on the back end. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. The heavens are opening. That's beautiful. That is an absolutely fabulous pint of beer. It could do, I think, with a little bit more carbonation. That would be my only criticism of this beer. But everything else, absolutely spot on. Great malty biscuity taste, citrusy and lemony and spicy on the back end. It's extremely drinkable for 5.1% ABV. And I'm going to be honest with you, I tapped this on a Friday morning. I always seem to tap my kegs on a Friday morning because we have the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And since we've launched season two of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, which is on every Friday at 7 p.m. It's a live show where we have a few beers and catch up with mates online and just have a bit of fun. I've tapped it for tonight. I've tapped it for tonight. So I'll be drinking this Hertog Jam at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub tonight, 7 p.m. And it's gonna be a scream tonight because I've got a great beer, a really, really good beer to drink at the Stone Crow. So again, just rating it. Lovely lacing on the glass, well worth picking up. I am gonna reiterate though, it's slightly, it could do with a little bit more carbonation. But rating for the Hertog Jan Lager, I like it enough to give it, it's an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.